Uh, we know that um, uh, Donald Trump is feeling good after what happened uh, for him tonight. Our Todd Magel has been at the Iowa Event Center all evening long following his camp, and he is joined by Iowa AG Brenna Bird. Todd. Hey, uh, yeah, we're uh, in the uh, Hy-Vee Hall here downtown. Uh, President Donald Trump just wrapped up his speech, and one of the people on stage was Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd. You're one of the early endorsers uh, for Donald Trump, and I'm just wondering sort of what you're feeling tonight after this pretty big win. Wow, I mean, this was a historic win. We've never seen one this big in Iowa, and just seeing all that momentum and energy from all the people supporting President Trump, it was awesome. Uh, what did you think about the result? Was this a surprise for you, or is this sort of what you predicted after seeing all these polls? Well, I know he has a lot of support, but we never took it for granted, and people turned out and voted, and uh, this is just huge. I mean, being over half, 50% in the Iowa caucuses has never happened before, never, ever. It's a record. And before I let you go, I got to ask, I got to giggle when he mentioned that you will be the next governor of the state of Iowa. What did you think when he said that, and was that a bit of a shock? Well, I mean, that was a kind thing for him to say, but I got to tell you, I'm working hard as attorney general, locking up the bad guys and, uh, and holding the federal government accountable when they go too far. So I'm pretty focused on my current job. You're not ready to declare a governor yet for Iowa? Oh, certainly not. We have a great governor in Kim Reynolds. Attorney General, Brenna Bird, thanks very much for joining us. Congratulations tonight, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.